Okay, today I am going to be doing maintenance on this 1980s box fan. I got this at a tag sale for $5. This fan, I've been using it for the last six months. I, I've been running it when I sleep, but lately, if you put it on low, it will not turn because it is in need of being oiled. It only worked on high. So, so now we're going to see what happens. Right now, I'm going to put it on low. As you can see, it's not really doing much of anything. So I'm going to be oiling this because it just has to be oiled. Because um, the other day, I, I, I put it on high. And uh, then later when I came back into the room, it was make a, making a buzzing sound. But the blade completely jammed and the whole fan was starting to heat up. So I could see that was a hazard. So today I'm going to be oiling it. Okay, right now I'm on the back of the box fan. On this type of fan, it does have an oil port in back of this, but in order to put oil into this part of the motor, you have to use a wrench and disconnect this completely, but you have to be careful not to bend any of the wires, making a fire hazard where they could heat up. Okay, right now at this point, I have removed one of the bolts. That's all you need to do on the back, and then you can spin it a little bit without messing up the wires right here in the back you can see there is a lot of dust in there and you can see there's ball bearings i'm just gonna take i'm gonna use liquid wrench this is oil it will stay there it will not evaporate for a while okay just put some in there i, I put a plate underneath this in case it drips because you're gonna keep putting it in there This fan probably has never been oiled before. This is an, again, it's a 1980s fan. I'm going to spray this a few more times. And then I'm going to put it back together. And then on the other side, I'm going to oil right behind the blade. Okay, I just got a lot of nice oil down inside there where the bearings are. Just gonna clean this up a little. Carefully move this back. You don't want to pinch any of the wires. I'm gonna check that before I secure it. See the wires? And make sure those are secured. And right here, when I when I flip it over, I'm gonna oil this again. In there, I'm gonna clean off all this dust. And then I'm gonna put the blade back on. Right now, I'm, I'm going to be resecuring the back grate. Got to be careful on the top one there because there are wires beneath that for the controls. Okay. And these uh, on your fan, if it is a little bit loose in some corners, from the other side, when the other side's unscrewed, you can just bend back beneath there. Okay. Make sure none of the wires got pinched, because that could be a hazard. And right here, I'm going to clean the back with oil. Now I'm going to tip the fan a little, make sure it gets into there. You can see all the oil just went down inside there. Now I'm going to squirt a little more. Just like with the back, I'm going to do it three or four times. Okay. Just going to do it one more time here. Okay, all the oil is going in there nicely. Wipe off all the extra. And when you're doing this on this model of fan, it's important not to get oil right here because this is this is all rubber right here. Because the way this fan works, this part that you screw into doesn't actually hold the blade. This is what gives it traction. 
because here you can see this is almost completely jammed here because this is it's just that it hasn't been running that well lately this fan here I did buy at an estate sale for five dollars I like these old fans because the motors on them are nice and powerful and uh, when I did get this, it did have a broken blade right here. Luckily, the piece was inside the fan. See, uh, I just went along it with a solder gun and melted them back together. It's not the it's not as strong as it used to be, but you got you, I had to do it because uh, without this piece, it was running unevenly, and the whole thing was shaking. Okay, the blade is back on right now, and and now you can actually turn it. Before, it was difficult to even move the blade. Now I'm going to screw the front of it on. Okay, the front is on. It does have a few broken spots. I'm going to go around and screw in all of them, and then we're going to try this out. Okay, right now the, the fan is completely back together. We're going to see how this works. I'm going to start it off on low. See, the fan started moving, and I just put it over onto low. Be before, the fan was so jammed that if you put it on low, it wouldn't even turn. It, w it wasn't enough power. You had to put it on high to actually get it to start moving. Thanks for watching. This fan works great now. And it also doesn't make a screeching noise.